about uh, 53 miles now. Bogies appear to be heading uh, directly at his upcoming port. Steady up uh, 150 for 33 hours. I will teach you how to land the F-16 Falcon. This is your landing procedures training. The first thing you need to do before attempting to land anywhere is to get yourself familiar with the airport or airbase that you're going to be using. This chart shows you the runways and the way they are on the airport this is your runway layout chart you can see you can use runway 34 right or left or runway 16 right or left they will assign your runway when you call ATC the air traffic control operator also you can see here all you need to know about the runways like the TORA takeoff runway available, the ASDA, the accelerate stop distance available, your TODA takeoff distance available, your LDA landing distance available, and your width, the width of the runway. Now let me get you familiar with some air-based terminology and airport operations. This picture is showing you the traffic pattern of this particular airbase, the Kuzon airbase. You see the layout of the runways, 34 left and right, and 16 left and right. Every airport has a different traffic pattern, different altitudes, different lengths. This one is just showing you the basics of a traffic pattern. Basically is separated by legs. You can see the departure leg, the crosswind leg, the downwind leg, the base leg, and the final approach leg. The pattern is preset based on wind direction and weather conditions, and they could change once or twice in the course of a day. Now let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to land on paper first and then you will land at the airport. The first thing is we're coming in from the south to the north. We're going to contact the tower, the ATC, air traffic control. They will give us the clearance, they will give us the runway, and they will give us altitude, speed, and heading. We will proceed with those and then we will set up our ILS and our take on frequency so we can intercept the 340 degree radial to the airport. The radials are a series of lines that are radiating from the airport and into the airport. If you're coming in to run with 34, the radial will be 340 or 340 degrees. To the airport. If you were if you were going away from the airport using the same radial, it will be 160, which is runway 16, left or right. So here we go. Let me show you how that will look in the simulator. All right. So you just came from your mission. Your aircraft is armed. Your jammer is on and all your lights are turned off so all your panels are off this is so the enemy can't see you so you want to try to be as innocuous as possible so you have all these lights turned off so let's get this aircraft um, airport friendly first let's look at where you are you are right there the is flashing your steer point and I'm gonna get it a little bit expanded so I'm gonna expand it once to see the steer points better so this is where you are steer point two and your airport is to the right or to the north and it should be that 
stair point on the far left. So I'm gonna hit S. And now that one's flashing. And to get a better idea of where you are, you can increase it to 30. And now you see that this is where you are and this is where you need to go. So that's the first thing. Now that you know where you are, put it back to 15. And let's start turning this guy down. This is your master switch. Let's make it two off. Now you can see in the HD, you're not armed anymore. Let's um, turn your jammer off by pressing J. There it goes, off. Now let's go to our lights panel and turn all these guys on, 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 and master switch on. Now let's go back outside. And now we check their flashing, there you are. Oh, so it's rainy here. And we're going to turn right, and after we turn right, to face our steer point will contact the tower so let's do that let's unfreeze this shift P will unfreeze it just keep in mind I'm filming as a thunder I'm filming and flying at the same time so just bear with me I'm gonna try to get it lined up and then we'll contact the tower more or less right above there okay and let's uh, contact the tower we're gonna pre press T for tower menu comes up and you set number one or number two cowboy one one inbound for landing Cowboy 1-1, one, one, climb to 3000, maintain 240 knots, turn right heading 360, vectors to right base, runway 16 left. Alright, let me pause it. They're not directing us to the final, they're directing us to the right base. So like I showed you before, just get familiar with your traffic pattern and see what is the right base. You check with the heading, the speed and the altitude. 360 heading, your altitude 3000 feet. And your speed, you're gonna keep it around 250 knots. Now that you call the tower, you're gonna configure the aircraft for the approach. So you're gonna set your taken channel by pressing TILS which is number one this sh this should come up let me pause it again so she won't talk okay now you have your heading above so it won't be in the way and you have two lines a horizontal line and a vertical line the vertical line is the one that tells you where the runway is so this is your ILS approach the instrument landing system. Once that line meets with the flight path marker, which is the metal, you will be completely aligned with the runway. And the horizontal line is your altitude line or glide slope. When that line meets the metal of your flight path marker, you should be in good shape and you should be gliding perfectly to touch down at the threshold of the runway. 